what are the animal spirits in the U.S. doing right now? What are the... Animal spirits, the on the up or on the spirits. down? Well, the animal spirits, I guess, are these. First, I think President Trump clearly uh, had a, uh, a victory in, in Korea, getting that meeting done. Whether you think he got everything he should have gotten out of the negotiations or not, I think he, he had a victory in getting that uh, completed in terms of the talks, and we'll see what happens. I think the animal spirits in Washington now are, are thinking, well, President Trump has a lot of influence in the Republican Party. Um, Mark Sanford apparently lost his uh, re-election primary bid, and I think a lot of Republicans will say, well, I want to make sure that if I'm going to be uh, running for re-election, I'm going to be okay with the president, because I don't want the president tweeting against me. Uh, there's no doubt that the president has used the tweeting power quite effectively. There's no tweeting power that's said to be in the Constitution, and you wonder whether Thomas Jefferson or George Washington or James Madison, if they had the power to tweet, what their impact would have been. We don't have the historic tweets of these great uh, Americans or anybody before the recent era. There's no doubt that President Trump has used this quite effectively from Make his point America of view. Great. Uh, on the economic point of view, are we underestimating, underestimating or overestimating the strength of the U.S. economy? What are you, you know, if you look at economists and economists' forecasts, what are they getting wrong today? Well, I'm not sure they're getting anything wrong. Uh, it's hard to know right now what they're getting wrong. But I, I think this is the situation. We are growing at close to 3 percent, which is pretty good for an economy of our size. The biggest concerns that people would have are the deficit and the debt. Are the, they're growing. And how much longer can we continue this? We are about 109 months into a growth cycle. We've only had one growth cycle longer than this. So people would say at some point this is going to slow down. What's going to cause it to slow down? Is it emerging market corporate debt? Is it trade barriers and tariff wars? Or is it maybe the growing concern about the deficit and debt? Nobody knows for certain. It's not likely to be subprime mortgages as it was before. But whatever causes the next recession to occur, it clearly is something that we can see in front of us now. We just don't know which of the things I just mentioned are likely to cause it, or maybe something we don't know, maybe a geopolitical factor. At some point, we will have a slowdown. I just don't know when it will be. Uh, Herb Stein, the former head of the Council of Economic Advisors, famously said, if something can't keep going on forever, eventually it won't. So this, this growth cycle has been terrific. I don't know how much longer it will stay. I hope another year or two at least. I think the recession has been pushed back because of the tax cut bill and the favorable economy for at least a year, if not longer. So that is very interesting information. And I agree with him that they just keep loading up debt and keep pushing this can down another two years, three years, whatever. Because like I said, the re-election, and this may be a problem in U.S. politics, is you get re-elected every four to six years. So uh, there is no benefit for thinking long term. And loading up this debt to make the economy good now makes sense for anyone that's an incumbent if you want to continue to get elected. But we're screwing ourselves. And I do feel like once this recession hits, that's when we're going to get a lot of growth in the cryptocurrency market, because once the stock market and the bond market and the real estate market start to take a dive, I can see a lot of money uh, rushing into crypto assets. And um, I don't think it's going to happen. He's right. Uh, I think that as long as they can keep loading up on this debt, uh, we're not going to see that kind of correction for maybe another six months, a year, two years. So uh, cryptos could be a bad investment and could basically stay pretty flat. Um, but like I said, I, I like to buy these dips because I know long term in two, three years, uh, the value of cryptos will be much, much higher because this valuations of companies and all this debt that <laughs> governments, not just the U.S., but all over the world, it's eventually going to hit a credit crunch. And when it does, uh, commodities like oil, gas, and now the digital commodities. And that's why also I wouldn't just put all my money in crypto. I highly recommend that you own a balanced portfolio and you have other commodities like oil or precious metals. And obviously, because there, there is, uh, it looks like it's going to have some continued growth for the next year or two, um, I would still have a position in the stock market and bond market, but eventually I would definitely want to change it. And as crypto continues to dip, I'm going to just buy more and hold because I know long term uh, <laughs> when the markets do collapse, the value of crypto should go up. But let me know what you guys think and I will talk to you guys soon.